right here we have a mangrove snapper it has been gutted it has been bled it has been you know stoned right with a knife tap the cerebral cortex the gills have been removed I came in here and, and made an incision on that blood pocket now the final step is to for, to complete the Ikajimi technique is to make an incision at the tail come in and then break the tail right and it's gonna break right where the vertebrae is You can see right here is that little hole is the nerve canal. I'll show you. Then you take this wire tool that I got from Japan. It's a special wire. It works better than lead or anything like that. You take this wire and you ins you insert it right onto. See, this is this is the gelatin inside of the vertebrae right this is the other side of the vertebrae there's a pocket right on top right? and it's gonna be a little tough sometimes but it will go there it is and if you can look at the fish as I'm inserting it the fish is gonna you guys see that it goes all the way and then boom I hit the, the brain so that relaxes the fish it tri doubles, triples its shelf life. And I'm going to use this fish in particular to dry age, right? So I, this is what I do with every fish I dry age. And it's just the nerve endings, right? So I can keep going back and forth. This fish is dead. It has been dead for a while. But I'm just tapping its nerve endings and it relaxes the fish. That's how you do the Ikajimi technique. I prefer the tail entrance better than the head entrance it's just a little bit easier to find that canal i'm gonna get to the dock i'm gonna keep it on ice for maybe a day then i'm gonna take a sharp knife not just this knife but like a dedicated skinning knife and i'm gonna take the scales off not just taking the scales off but like cutting them off and then i'm gonna hang it upside down in my fridge for probably three days and then we're gonna make nigiri out of it maki rolls all kinds of good stuff so there you go guys i know it sounds a little bit complicated but it's worth it. Get yourself one of these tools on eBay. I think they're 20 bucks, worth it.